Parish Church in the hill, hills above Larne. This is the final resting place in the scenic graveyard of Martha Craig. She was born uh, outside Glenow in a place called Carnell. Educated in England and France, as a young woman she was a member of the Henry Joy McCracken Society and believed in radical land reform in Ireland to, quote, cure the country of landlordism, close quotes. Craig began a career in journalism and left Ireland for the United States in the late 1890s. She was invited to the White House by President William McKinley in 1898, where they discussed Erin's hopes and freedoms. She moved to Canada, where her interest in indigenous culture led her to engage with the First Nation. Craig claimed to have been adopted by the nation and given the name Inuk Wash Osha, which means brave one. In 1905, she explored the interior of Labrador, accompanied by two Indian guides. She was published in Cosmopolitan in July 1905, claiming to be, quote, the only white woman who has explored Labrador. It was also claimed that Craig gifted a talking machine outfit to an indigenous tribe who gave her a gold mine in exchange. Craig believed that all life is vibration and she had been reincarnated from an Indian princess called Meta. Her vortex theory appeared on the front page of the American Register newspaper and she was invited to lecture at the University of Salamanca, the first woman to do so. Martha Craig died on the 2nd of April 1950, aged 83, at her sister's house in Carnell and is buried in Glenow Churchyard here. In October 2021, a blue plaque commemorating Martha Craig was erected by the Ulster History Circle in Glenow. It reads, Martha Craig, 1866 to 1950, and it commemorates her as Brave Woman. She's commemorated as writer, lecturer, explored Labrador, Canada. 1905. So again, this is the final resting place of Martha Craig in Glenow Churchyard.